Hal is in three days. And since he's in three days, ladies and gentlemen, you know exactly what we gotta do. I gotta tell you why Hal is the greatest unit to ever be released in Grand Summoners. Now, if you haven't been to one of these videos, you may see this title and some of you meta slaves may already be mad at me, but it's because you guys just see the title and you don't actually watch the whole video, so you don't even know what the entire video is about. But I do appreciate you clicking on it. It means the title worked, see? Gotcha. But what these videos are is me breaking down a unit that are usually like extremely hype and telling you guys a lot of what this unit is bringing to your team, what exactly you can be expecting from this unit and what this unit is and what this unit isn't because with a lot of these hype units especially in gacha games it's really easy to get caught up in the hype and just be like oh my god this unit's broken best unit ever 10 out of 10 must play must get absolutely empty the bank account pull out a loan sell the car sell the pool sell the kids we're going <laughs> i don't know if i should say that last one <laughs> But real quick, if you want to know any more information about any of the other Shaman King units, cards popping up on your screen right now. I've talked about all of them before multiple times. So you can go to those videos and see exactly uh, what all of them do if you're curious. And while you're at it, <laughs> trying to get to 30k. If you guys want to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, I really appreciate it. Helps out the channel a lot. How? What? is how is a fire god unit these are his slots pretty freaking good to be honest his skill has a lengthy 18 second cooldown but it increases his own attack by 20 percent his art is able to increase all allies arts by 20 except for himself and you reduce the enemy's burn resistance and then his true art is a massive multiplier of 70 000 percent you have 100 chance to inflict burn and then you reduce the enemy's magic resist by 50 percent but if you inflicted burn with your own true art or if the enemy was already burned upon activating your true art then you reduce the fire resistance by another 50% meaning in total you get 50% magic resist down 50% fire resist down and a lot of damage and not only that how has a passive similar to Juno he's able to increase own arts by seven per second for himself as long as he's above 70% HP which majority of the time I would say he will be because you're probably gonna be nuking with him more than anything his other two abilities are freeze resist and burn resist which is cool but you know not really as exciting as the seven art gauge per second and as you see there that's pretty much all he's doing so when you look at this guy and what do you see be honest what do you see you see damage that's all you see you see damage lots of damage but not only do you see damage this isn't damage in the sense of thinking of someone like batiste right or someone like let's say vox for an example or even someone like burwick this guy is mainly playing his own game he's not really trying to play for the team too much apart from his fire and magic resist down that's like his only team oriented thing everything else is like everything that we doing out here i'm doing i'm gonna be the one to kill these bosses you need a nuke i'm gonna nuke them you don't even want to nuke guess what i'm still nuking and here's the thing that people are seeing whenever they look at yo they look at yo and they instantly see 70 000 percent on the true art right they see the 50 percent magic resist down and they also see the 50 percent fire resist down thinking in their head like oh my god that's a lot of damage and they think that they're always going to get that off which in reality there may be times where you won't be able to burn whatever boss that you're fighting because sometimes burning it can be quite rng just like any other stats effect that's in this game and they also see the seven arts per second so they think that he's a very self-sufficient attacker which i would say yeah yo is a very self-sufficient attacker but not as self-sufficient as someone like vox or you know someone else like juno for an example he can take care of himself but at the same time it's only seven arc gauge per second it's not like he's generating seven arc gauge per second then on his skill he's also giving himself like 40 arch or something like that you know what i mean so you're still gonna have to orient him around team play but the main thing that yo is as you can see by his multipliers as you can see with his whole entire game plan he is a nuker as i say man you know you're trying to blow stuff up with them you're not trying to sustain damage over time or anything like that. You are meant to do burst slash nuke damage with this boy. I'm talking about he enters a field and you're expecting to kill the boss probably within one rotation of his true art. But not only is he a nuker, fire nuking, I want to say is kind of, uh, or let me actually say optimal fire nuking, quote unquote is kind of not really free to play too much like for example if you get how think about as a new player if you get how and his main focus is nuking he'll absolutely be able to do some stuff for you like in terms of damage and everything in terms of value let's say you take two attackers right I know, because I've seen people make this comparison before. Let's take Berwick and Hal. If you're a new player and you get into the game, you have a choice to pick between Berwick and Hal, and you pick Hal, to be honest, you lost. Yeah, Hal is dealing more damage, but as a new player, you will have no way to access that damage. And overall, Berwick is providing more value to you than Hal could ever do, because Hal is strictly only damage. Of course, if that is the only thing you're looking for, then absolutely go for it. But if you're looking for something more than damage, Hal isn't 
you guy. Back to the topic at hand about optimal fire nuking. Whenever you think about fire nuking and you look at the units in the game, I must say that it's kind of hard to recommend a character that is meant for fire nuking whenever a lot of the fire nukers or a lot of the fire nuke composition is kind of a uh, not really well territory but i will say long-term player slash what yeah i would say well yeah it's, it's practically well territory so if you want to know what like yo's optimal nuke comp would be probably if you want to do like mono fire or not even just mono fire like just anything but let's say like yo's optimal nuke comp would be something like yo benny maru commander forte and then like berwick to end it off and i would say that would probably be a good enough comp to nuke practically 70 to 80 percent of the content you may have to switch it up from time to time with some other things like if you wanted to stay specifically with mono fire you could trade out like forte for like lion if you had her which i feel like most people probably have a lion i think she's a base five star but still you see that one's a crossover unit so yo himself is a crossover unit binimaru is a crossover unit berwick is a saga unit and then the only ones that are kind of like i guess more abundant quote unquote would be like a commander forte or like a lion of course that's just like a sample team comp don't take that as like the best team for him but that would be like a team that i would recommend somebody if they're asking me like hey like you know what is a fire nuke comp with yo and then that's probably what i would tell them and here's the thing about fire nuking like yeah it's really cool to look and see like big numbers like look this is a mono dark nuke you see that like who wouldn't want to do that you insta kill bosses right but the thing is, is that nuking as a new player does nothing but really hurt you because not only is nuking important, like the units themselves, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't even talk about the equips. How are you going to nuke if you ain't got nothing to buff up your damage? How are you going to nuke if you ain't even got the art gauge to do it in the first place? See what I mean? If you don't get the right equips and the right units, you do nothing but hurt yourself because you have the nuke units, but if you don't have the other support stuff to make that work, then it's just going to crumble that entire strategy and you'll be better off using just a regular team comp. So, is Yo the best unit in Grand Summoners? No, I don't think he will be. I think that he may appear like that to some people, especially once you start seeing like a lot of people get their hands on him in global and they're just like nuking with them in odious and stuff like that and you see them doing like millions upon millions of damage because they have like the fire nuke teams and the equips and everything to make them work but i think like in terms of like tiers and everything i would say he's probably like a solid a tier a plus tier possibly he's definitely the best fire nuker that is a thing that i will say i don't think there is a fire nuker that is better than him hell for probably the rest of gs's lifespan but i say that then next thing i know they add like natsu to the game and he has like a hundred thousand percent on his true or something i think that you could still re-roll for him if you really like yo i don't think this video should discourage you from that at all like for example if you're getting into the game and you really like how like really freaking like how i think just re-roll for him because i mean you're getting the game to play with shaman king units so you might as well get the shaman king units because that's the reason why you're coming into the game in the first place but if you want to be like extremely optimal i'm not even for sure what the best reroll would be right now <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be it for this video at the end of the day the boy how is just a fire nuker but to all my veterans out there hey we all know what to do we go for how all day baby thank you all for coming out tell me down below if you're gonna be summoning for how if you're gonna be saving you're gonna be skipping what's the deal with them you know what i'm saying me personally i'm debating if i want to do another summon video or how or maybe like wait and like do something else i may do a dual summon with sleepy if he wants to do one so we'll have to wait and see thank you all for coming out again don't forget to like comment subscribe for more and last but not least you guys already know don't forget to drink water